So the quickest and simplest description of the mean value theorem that I can give is that if you have a function, and unlike Rolle's theorem, this time uh, your two y values don't have to be the same, but you have some function, and that function has to be continuous and differentiable, just like Rolle's theorem, and you have some interval a to b, there is some place in between a and b here where the slope of your tangent line is equal to the slope of the secant line between those two points. We typically call that x value in between a and b c. So the slope of this tangent line would be f prime of c. And the slope of a secant line can be written as rise over run, or the change in the y values over the change in the x values. Somewhere in between a and b, there needs to be a point c where the slope of this tangent line equals the slope of the secant line. That's what this equation says right here. So looking at the function e to the x, we want to make sure that this satisfies the conditions of the mean value theorem. So the first question is, is this function continuous from 0 to 1? And it is. e to the x is continuous everywhere. And since the derivative of e to the x is just itself, um, its derivative is also continuous everywhere. So therefore, it's differentiable on that interval 0 to 1. So the conditions of the mean value theorem are met. Now, the following math might get a little bit strange looking, but um, let's find the value of c between 0 and 1 so that the conclusion of the mean value theorem is satisfied. We'll start by taking a derivative which is just e to the x. Um, if we plug in c to our derivative, we just get e to the c. And that right there is the slope of our tangent line at x equals c. Now let's find the slope of our secant line. That's going to be f of 1 minus f of 0 over 1 minus 0. And using our function, we get e to the 1 minus e to the 0 over uh, 1 minus 0 is just 1. e to the 1 is just e and e to the zero, anything to the zero, is just one. So this is the slope of our secant line between um, those two x values. And the mean value theorem says that since our function is continuous and differentiable on this interval from zero to one, that somewhere along the line, this slope of the secant line must be equal to the slope of the tangent line. If we want to find what that c is, that means we need to solve this equation algebraically for c. That just means taking the natural log of both sides of this equation. The reason we do that is because the natural log and the exponential function cancel out, just leaving us with a c. And I'm getting a c value of the natural log of e minus 1. Of course, I don't know what that number is, so uh, I'd like to find out. My calculator says that this number is 0 0.54132 and so on, which is great because the c value needs to fall on the given interval. And since our given interval was just 0 to 1, uh, this c value needed to be between 0 and 1. Okay, I think we did it.